denotes the original 66, being the number of the great work, or the fallen angels. But he crossed it, making a third V equaling 666 in his magical Kabbalism. As Hitler knew he was an Antichrist. But does Dodge? Hmm. Demons. Well, it always goes back to the Freemasons. I like to point out to any ladies who are a member of the Eastern Star that it does say fatal inside that inverted pentagram. Even the streets at the White House and the streets of Congress are inverted pentagrams. These are the actual street plans. Could it be we're in connection with demons from outer space? But of course the five-pointed star is nothing new in Austin. You see it everywhere. No matter where you turn, no matter where you look, there it is. So what is it with this symbol? It shows up on the tanks of China. even shows up on the jets of Russia. Seems that if we call them an enemy, it shows up on their flag. Here we have North Korea, or three on the Iraq flag. But to the grandy like perfect and sublime Mason, this five-pointed star has a definite meaning. It is a symbol of a star cluster known as Sirius and they call it the Blazing Star. It's a symbol of Sirius and the Sun. The Blazing Star will show up on the floor of every lodge and an occasional crop circle. Perhaps the Blazing Star of Russia, because this is a global conspiracy. So it shouldn't surprise you to see a company named Sirius that has a five-pointed star. Did I mention that Sirius is the dog star? But this gets ingrained into our society and we end up with their symbols all over us, never even realizing that they might have a hidden power that's being used against us. Well, Manly P. Hall gives us yet a different definition of the five-pointed star. He tells us that our flag was designed by a strange old hermit known only as the Professor, and that he put the five-pointed star on there to symbolize man's manipulation of the real world, where the top point symbolizes his head and the other four his arms and legs. So therefore, the stars on the flag denote the state's ability to manipulate its own reality. Aleister Crowley he also said that every man and woman is a star. This made him famous. And this made Da Vinci famous. So you see here the head with the four points making the five-pointed star. What is this about? What is this doing? Well, the Oxford English Dictionary defines the pentagram or five-pointed star as a tool used in necromancy to call down foul fiends and demons. And he even mentions people like Sir Francis Bacon and King Solomon. Just who do you think we're calling on here? So back to the demons. Five-pointed star. Could it be that our sports teams are demonic? Perhaps Charlie Tuna is demonic. Certainly cheerleaders are the most unchristian thing I can think of. They dress up in their skimpy little outfits and dance and prance in front of you. And they tell you to hate, kill, and destroy your neighbor. And if I know one thing Jesus said, he said, if anything, love thy neighbor. And these girls will have you beating each other up. Well, the first professional cheerleaders were, of course, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, and back to the five-pointed star. Even the name Dallas is a Hebrew letter, D, and it means door, and is a symbol of the goddess. 
or the Hebrew letter R, as shown here on this Freemasonry, is a symbol of the sun in Kabbalism. Sam Walden certainly was a Freemason, and when he told you he was taking care of travelers, well, travelers is a code word for Freemason. And you can bet there are Black Masons, too. It's called the Prince Hall Lodge. They were established back in 1787 to fight in the war. Where you see the Knight of the Sun, a Freemason degree symbolized by the five-pointed star, well, On is the city of the sun in Egypt. He's starting to get the picture here. What is it with the magician and his star? Is he up to good or bad? We'll talk about her next week. But definitely, if you come across a five-pointed star, not far behind will be the Freemason. So be it a winged disc with a pentagram and an oblong square, or perhaps a pentagram sitting upon a truncated pyramid, or a pentagram on a cube, or the ri sun rising behind a pyramid. It could be aliens. But when you see the original sin, you know the magicians aren't far behind. And they're here in Texas. Helping one another. Keeping their eye on things. Well, all I can say is welcome to Earth from the Freeman perspective. Check in next week when we discover Columbia's connections with Lucifer. Thank you. Good night. The hunger and the life. Wrong and the right